Thank you for staying with us. And if you just tuned in, this is Y254. You're watching the debrief. Now, tourism stakeholders in Kilifi County have called on the government to involve them in the ongoing vaccination against COVID-19 pandemic. Here at LUC, they have been left badly exposed to the global pandemic despite their contribution to the country's economy. The group alleges it has been ignored by the government, calling for the inoculation of their members. The group says, owing to role they play in the tourism industry, it is wise that they be considered in the efforts to stem the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. So far, over 916,000 people have been vaccinated against the COVID-19 in the country. Hoteliers in Kilifi County are stakeholders in the hotel industry. We need to be vaccinated. We are dealing with foreigners who are coming uh, on a daily basis and we would want our staff to be vaccinated. So we would ask the authorities uh, to set aside some vaccines for the hotel industry. We will be happy if that is done. Some counties like Nairobi, they had already dedicated, um, they had already dedicated some vaccines for the frontline workers in the hotel industry. Nairobi did that, Mombasa did that. But the other counties, like our county, it has not happened yet. I spoke with the, uh, our CEC of um, tourism. And in business banks will, from July this year, contribute to the deposit insurance fund based on their risk level in move expected to compel them to make prudent investments and reduce cases of lenders going under. Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation CEO Mohamud Hamid Mohamud says the new framework is meant to ensure that commercial banks have a strong risk assessment. The risk-based premium is kicking in, kicking in, and banks now will now be rated in accordance with their and the membership who are the banks to ensure that we all work, we all rally behind that cause of zero bank failures in our country, because our business people need to be protected, our depositors need to be protected, and I think that is why we really want people to, we want all of us to rally behind that cause of zero bank failures. Still call upon our depositors not to keep money at home but to bring the money to the banks our banks are resilient they are safe as we speak today under the pandemic indeed the deposit is still growing in the banks kenyans have a lot of confidence with our banking system and that's the confidence we want to ride on next 30 days they will have they will will commence the payment of their 500,000 shillings then we'll now embark on the and now away from Kenya to sad news, at least eight people, including a Burudin army official, were killed in last night along the Bujumbura Gitenga road around the Moramvia area. Local uh, media outlets are reporting it has an ambush while police say it was a robbery incident. Eyewitnesses say nothing was stolen from the victims. Colonel Onesfo Nzingiyama, who had served with the United Nations mission in Somalia, Yunsum, and a central bank employee were among those killed, according to Burundi news website. Several other people were injured and vehicles were set on fire, the news website reported. And in England, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will set out today the next phase of the lockdown easing in England, easing restrictions and allowing pumps to serve customers' pins inside the aftermath of a stricter measures. This is in line with the four-step plan and availed in February after rapid vaccine rollout helped drive down COVID-19 cases and deaths. Under step three from, from May 17, people will be allowed to meet up in indoors for the first time in months in groups of up to six people or two full households together. Johnson's Downing Street office said the latest data on COVID-19 vaccinations on infections, hospitalizations, deaths and on the risk posed by the variants had been taken into account in deciding they moved forward with step three. Two thirds of adults in the United Kingdom had have had the first vaccine and one that have had both doses.
that COVID-19 situation in England wraps up things for us. Thank you so much for staying with us. We appreciate your company. See you again tomorrow. Same time, same place. My name is Adreva Hilary. Have yourself a very good evening.